Well, first of all, what was it like when Coach told you you were starting? No, this is a single I woke up super excited. I still am right now. Like the first game, I was like, my whole life was here. Yeah, I was just like, I'm doing it already. Did the jitters out of the way early in that game, or how did you sort of work your way into that game? Me personally, I was not very good. I got more so I put the work in, so I made the move. Right. What was it like at the end of the game? You see Moses at the line. You guys are holding a one point lead. They don't call a timeout. Like, take us through the moment where you had to, you know, get that final stop there. Actually, when I had, uh, I had five fouls, I just told my team I'm not going to foul out. And then they tried to go at me on the guard. This is our team, but I'm definitely not going to foul out. So they said, like, the favorite thing to do but. Smaller, smaller guard, so just making sure that I contained it and closed out and time like that. What was the reaction from the team? I mean, we saw it, but what were they telling you after the final ball that goes off that shot misses? Like, what were they telling you? We're going to go to the Stanford question. Go ahead, Kurt. Hey, Brandon. Uh, I saw that you were uh, sitting courtside during pregame with uh, Coach Brian Shaw, and it looked like you were really soaking in that mom moment. Uh, what was it like being out there for your first game and, uh, you know, hitting that three and the, the guys on the bench really uh, celebrating that? I talked to Pete Shaw before the game, and I just asked him, like, he played 15 years in the league. I just simply asked him, like, how do you make it in this league? He had a deep conversation. He talked about a lot of stuff. And, uh, I have knowledge, and I take my then get in the game, get that first three, and it's just like, that's what I do, so I'm out there and did my thing. Hey, Brandon, was there a piece of advice any of your teammates gave you going into the two tonight that stuck with you as you were playing? Yeah, Reggie Jackson just said, have fun. You did things, that's all I did. And you mentioned last week that you felt like you've been a pro for a long time because of the way you approach the offseason to play with guys. How do you compare what your expectations were your first NBA action? That was preseason, but to feel like a pro, what's that to actually be more on the floor? It's actually crazy. I don't know about it. Just looking forward to the video with that here. So just uh, making the best of it while I'm here. You know, just doing the right thing, doing the little things I need to do, and just attacking every day. Okay, one more. Uh, congrats, man. Thank you so much. Um, what from what Brian shot, what Coach Shaw told you to me a lot, but uh, really just uh, staying on the everything that I'm supposed to do. Uh, staying healthy, taking care of my body, and just working my game every day. I don't, I just love it. Thanks, Brandon. Good job. Thank you.